Wake up. Get up. Shower. Eat. Run. Remember those who came before you. Go to class. Get to practice. Hit. Feel. Catch. Throw. Run again. No time to rest. Remember why you're doing this. Run again. Study. Eat. Sleep. Dream. Your brain is like a circuit switch. Once you believe you are something, you actually embody it. You embody that feeling. If you were, God forbid, in a coma, and you woke up, and you didn't really have a memory, and you were told that you used to be a Navy SEAL, and they want you back now when you're healthy, do you think you'd act differently and hold yourself differently, conduct yourself different, and have a different self-concept of who you are than if you were told you were a piano instructor? Greatness is not this wonderful, esoteric, elusive, God-like feature that only the special among us uh, will ever taste. You know, it's something that truly exists in all of us. It's very important for you to believe that you are the one. Most people, they raise a family, they earn a living, and then they die. They stop growing, they stop working on themselves, they stop stretching, they stop pushing themselves. That a lot of people like to complain, but they don't want to do anything about their situation. And most people don't work on their dreams. Why? One is because of fear. The fear of failure, what if things don't work out? And the fear of success, what if they do and I can't handle it? These are not risk takers. See, his troops thought they were going just on a normal battle. They just thought that they were just going to give it their best shot. But the captain, the leader, the warrior had a different agenda. He said, this time, we're not only going to give it our best shot, we're going to come out and win. And we're not just going to only take what's ours, we're going to take back everything that they took from us. Go ahead. I've never heard it before. Tell me. Tell me I'm five foot nothing. Tell me I'll be nothing. Tell me I'm just a nice story. Tell me my first year was a fluke. And my second year was a fluke. And I'm a sentimental all-star. Three times. Tell me that someone is better, that someone else works harder, that baseball players aren't warriors. Tell me an athlete can't make a difference, how precious my time is. Tell us what we can't do. Tell us who we can't be. One of us is going to be right. Hey. Don't ever let somebody tell you you can't do something. Not even me. All right? All right. You got a dream? You got to protect it. People can't do something themselves. They want to tell you you can't do it. If you want something, go get it. Period. There are going to be times in your life where you are kicked down. Where you feel like you can't go on anymore. Where you don't feel like getting out of bed. Where you feel like you are beat down and the weight of the world is on your shoulders. And you're not sure if you could carry this thing anymore. I'd be lying to you if I said, I never have down periods. 
that I don't feel depressed, that I don't feel anxious, that I don't feel sad, that I don't feel like the world is kicking my tail. But you gotta find a way. You gotta find something to keep going, to keep pushing forward. To just give that little boost to push you through the day. To push you through tomorrow and the next day until you get out of this funk. You gotta find something inside you to do it. And you gotta understand that it's a test. It's a test of your will, of your grit, of your mental toughness. And the more brilliant you are, the more you will be tested. You fight through the depression, you fight through the anxiety, you fight through the stress, you fight through all of the negative, all of the circumstances around you that are beating you down to your knees. And you just gotta stand up. Listen to me very closely, you gotta hear what I'm saying. Pain is temporary. If you push through, the gates will open. That you will reach your goals, your targets. And you will become the best you if you keep moving one foot after the other. After the other. Pain is going to take you to the next level. I know what you feel it, but you gotta work through it. And if you work through your pain, on the other side is a reward. Your pain ain't permanent. You can get through this. You bigger than your pain. You better than that. I've been trying to get that into your spirit. I've been trying to get you to celebrate pain. How strong are you mentally to fight through this thing? You gonna work through this. You gonna get up, you gonna get dressed, and you gonna do what you've been called to do. You gonna be what you called me, and you gonna prove that everybody that tried to break you, you gonna prove them wrong. Everybody that tried to stop you, everybody that tried to kill your dreams, you gonna prove all of them wrong. Anybody can be good when times are good, but when things are bad in your life, how good are you going to be? Because that's the test of you as a human being. Will you show up? Will you bring it? So bring it. As they got off of their boats, he looked at the lieutenant and gave an order that silenced all of the troops. He told the lieutenant to burn each and every ship that they arrived on. He wanted him to set fire to each and every ship that brought them to the battle. It was an outrage. All the troops, all the soldiers started to panic and worry about getting home to see their families. They worried about seeing their kids, being able to bear children for their future's namesake, being able to get back to their lives. Why would the captain, why would this great warrior want to burn our only chance at getting home? But see, the warrior didn't see it that way. And that's where a lot of us fail in here today. The warrior saw the bigger picture. He knew that they were overmatched physically, outnumbered. It was physically and, and numerically impossible for them to become victorious. So he had to make a decision. He changed the mindset of every one of his troops. He said, if you want to go home to your lives, if you want to go home to your families, if you want to be able to bear children for your future namesake, then today is the day it starts. 
We will not go home unless we win. Our only way off of this island is to defeat what's in front of us. And the only reason we're going to win is because that's our only option. That's why I gave the order to burn down those ships. And the story is about, you guys have probably heard about this before. It was a, it was a young man who, you know, he wanted to make a lot of money. And so he went to this guru, right? And he told the guru, you know, I want to be on the same level you are. And so the guru said, if you want to be on the same level I'm on, I'll meet you tomorrow at the beach at 4 a.m. He liked the beach. I said, I want to make money. I don't want to swim. Guru said, if you want to make money, I'll meet you tomorrow, 4 a.m. So the young man got there at 4 a.m. He all ready to rock and roll, got on the suit. He should have wore shorts. The old man grabs his hand and said, how bad do you want to be successful? He said, real bad. He said, walk on out in the water. So he walks out into the water. Watch this. When he walks out into the water, it goes waist deep. So he's like, this guy crazy. I'm Adrian, he's like, I want to make money. He got me out here swimming. I didn't ask to be a lifeguard. I want to make money. He got me in. So he said, come out a little further. Walked out a little further. Then he had it right around this area, the shoulder area. So this old man, crazy. He's making money, but he's crazy. He said, come on out a little further. He came out a little further. It was right at his mouth. My man, like, I'm about to go back in here. This guy is mine. So the old man said, I thought you said you wanted to be successful. He said, I do. He said, walk a little further. He came, dropped his head in, held him down, hold him down. My man getting scratching, holding him down. I got you. I know you brushed it out, but I got you. He had him held down. I need you for an illustration. He had him held down just before my man was about to pass out. He raised him up. He said, I got a question for you. Somebody answer the question for me. He said, when you were underwater, what did you want to do? Lee, I'm looking for a different word, though, than lip. What's that word? He said, I wanted to breathe. He told the guy, he said, when you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. I don't know how many of y'all got asthma in here today, but if you ever had an asthma attack before, you short of breath, SOB, shortness of breath, you wheezing. The only thing you're trying to do is get some air. You don't care about no basketball game. You don't care what's on TV. You don't care about nobody calling you. You don't care about a party. The only thing you care about when you're trying to breathe is to get some fresh air. That's it. And when you get to the point where all you want to do is be successful, as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. And I'm here to tell you, number one, that most of you say you want to be successful, but you don't want it bad. You just kind of want it. You don't want it better than you want to party. You don't want it as much as you want to be cool. You, most of you don't want success as much as you want to sleep. Some of you love sleep more than you love success. And I'm here to tell you today, if you're going to be successful, you've got to be willing to give up sleep. You got to be willing to work off for three hours of sleep, two hours. If you really want to be successful, some days you will have to stay up three days in a row. Because if you go to sleep, you might miss the opportunity to be successful. That's how bad you got to want it. You got to go days without, listen to me, you got to want to be successful so bad that you forget to eat. Beyonce said once she was on the set doing her thing, three days had gone by, she forgot she didn't eat. Because she was engaged. I'll never forget uh, when 50 Cent was doing his movie, I did a little research on 50. And 50 said that when he wasn't doing the movie, he was doing the soundtrack. And they said, when do you sleep, 50? Sleep, he said, sleep. Sleep is for those people who are broke. I don't sleep. 